What a voice you've got. Oh, what is would need headphones. So oh yes, oh dear God. No, no, don't worry. I think we'll just ask. We'll just ask from the email, okay? Yeah. So don't worry. But I'll just read it and I'll ask you. Very good morning from Magic 1278, the best songs of all time. On this Monday morning, it's the 20th of June, and Hayley Westerner with Who Painted the Moon Black? And Beach Boys before that, as Brian Wilson celebrates his 69th birthday with the sloop John B. It's 13 past 8 with Kevin and Jane, and it is our absolute delight to welcome someone to the studio who we feel as if we've known all of her young life. Hayley Westerner is with us. Hello, Hayley. Hello, guys. Good morning. Beautiful to have you here in Melbourne, Hayley. And, and listening to your voice, that angelic voice, how old were you when re you recorded Who Painted um, the Moon Black? I was about, I was 15 when I recorded and 16 when I released the album, so... So just a couple of now. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Um, amazing that we should play uh, a song by the Beach Boys and Brian Wilson, who's still around recording at 69. 69 must seem such a long way off for you, <laughs> and it is. Uh, you reckon you're still going to be doing it by then? Uh, who knows? Because I like, I mean, singing, I was kind of born singing and yes. I kind of see myself um, singing for the rest of my life, but um, I wouldn't, I'd kind of want to, if, I, if my voice started deteriorating, I'd be like, right, okay, <laughs> <laughs> That's I'll stop. But, you know, it depends. I, I'm hoping to look out, that, you know, hoping that I'll look after it and, yes. and mm. I'll be able to sort of, uh, yeah, continue recording. How old are you now? 24. 24, yeah. And yeah. where did you get that voice from? Does it run in the family or were you just suddenly born and a, a little angel started singing? Uh, um, it, my parents weren't particularly musical, but my, my grandparents were huh. um, on my mother's side. So my, my nana was a singer and my granddad, he basically taught himself how to play a number of different instruments. A mm. Piano, piano accordion. Um, and so it's yeah it's definitely in my blood and my my younger sister and brother they're also really musical so it was always it's quite nice growing up in in a family where everyone else kind of understood yeah. each other and it's a great form of expression too and since then you've traveled the world you've played for presidents and prime ministers and audiences all around is that daunting for a young person or do you take it all in your stride and look at each event as a challenge uh it's funny because when I was younger, I just took it all in my stride. And then as you get a bit older, you suddenly like, <laughs> you think about suddenly it. like, oh, this is quite a big deal. <laughs> and you start to get more nervous about things. Um, so, uh, but at the same time, you also, you realize, you kind of um, make sure that you're appreciating every opportunity that yeah. bit more. When you're young, you just kind of take it for granted almost sure. because it's all, I don't know, it's just a little bit too much to take in. And mm -hmm. too much to take in would have to be the way you would describe your uh, latest CD called Paradiso. You need yeah. to tell us who's responsible for this and how it came about. I, I, I really can't believe it actually yet. Um, it hasn't sunk in this. I'm working with the, the legendary film composer Ennio Morricone uh, for this, on this album was just a dream and uh, he's 82 now. He, he did all the, the film scores for those of you who don't know um, to like the Mission, or the Spaghetti Westerns. Mm. Good, Cinema Bad, Par the Ugly, yeah. The Good, yes. the Bad, the Ugly, exactly. Cinema Paradiso. Um, and on this album, we've kind of... He's selected music um, for me to, to record, and we've put new lyrics to it. We've had, like, top lyricists write lyrics, like Don Black and Sir Tim Rice. You've mentioned Cinema Paradiso, which happens to be my absolute favourite movie of uh, all time. It's... Isn't it a stunning film? It's an extraordinary film. I want to be buried with it. I love it that much. So when I saw that you're... <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> he said that. He's <laughs> not kidding. Uh, uh, when, when I saw that this no, was it's... called Paradiso and Ennio was responsible for it, um, I was uh, completely uh, captivated. What's he like? Uh, um, well, I last year I went out in, in February. I met him about four years prior. He'd invited me out to meet him in Sicily because uh, he'd heard my voice and was interested in working with me on this collaboration, album, which didn't end up happening, but... Um, Four years later, I mm. went out to meet him in his apartment, and um, he was quite an intimidated, intimidating man to, to begin with, of course. Mm. Um, <laughs> yes. um, and I didn't. I was just really, I was really nervous. Uh, I didn't want to, to to say too much or <laughs> say the wrong thing, basically. Um, but you know, over the over the last year, you know, we we were spending a lot of time together, and we, we'd go out 
you know, across across the road from the studio to his like favorite cafe oh, and just sit down and, and joke and yeah. and it was um, he's a lovely man and uh, I'm just I you know I uh, I'm in an awe of of his work and. Just the fact that you know he's still so passionate about what he does. Well, I'm sure he's in awe of your work once he uh, heard well, that voice. And uh, I just, I can't. I'm just, I really am a, a lucky girl. I'm. Uh, it's. It was. A, he really. He managed to, to get a lot out of me, and um, the music, obviously, that he gave me to to, to sing was sure. just a dream come true. So. It is a beautiful, beautiful CD. Do you want to hear just a little bit of what we're talking about, so we can share this with you from Paradiso, Hayley Westerner's new album. This is I knew I loved you. How long are you in town for? Uh, in Melbourne, just today. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, we're very so, lucky. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm. I'm. It's. Oh, it's such a great city. I, I'm really happy to be here. Um, and going on to Sydney um, to, today, um, later today, and um, then I fly back to London on Friday. So wow, you're a busy whirlwind girl. trip. <laughs> yeah. When did you get here to Melbourne? Just um, yesterday. Saturday, yeah, yeah. Saturday. Oh, weekend, so, so, yeah. I was looking at your uh, web page, and your Twitter says, "I felt better. Think my body's rebelling oh. against the trend." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 a little bit. Yeah. Oh, we hope we can. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm okay. Time. It's just, yeah. It's I've I've kind of. Um, it's really hard. It's just hard getting around the world. There's no oh. other way about it. Like, and know. London to Australia is a long, long trip, and you've got yeah. it coming back up again on the weekend. Too. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Must um. just ask you. We've, we've got <laughs> we've got an email from Andrew, who was obviously a wonderful fan of yours, and he asks if you'll be signing Paradiso anywhere while you're in Melbourne. I unfortunately won't be um, because it's so quick. You're it's out just again. A yeah, yeah, it's a bit too short of a trip. But uh, I'm definitely. Um, hoping to come back for yeah. some concerts. And come back and see us when you do yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. And congratulations once again on Paradiso thank in you. record stores now. And uh, we've loved you for a long time. We hope that continues. Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks for coming, Ailey. Half my business and ended up buying a brand new one. You know, the untouched steering wheel, little rubbery bits coming off the top.